Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because today I'm going to be showing you guys a fun daily makeup look using Wet n Wild Summer Limited Edition Collection. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you guys this new collection and swatch all of the products for you guys. So look at the beautiful unicorn holographic packaging. Alright, so jumping into swatches, I'm going to show you guys the unicorn glow rainbow highlighter first. Here is the blue side and then the more pinky yellowy side. This is a really cute fun highlighter. And then I'm going to be showing you guys Everlasting Glow which is like the pink frosty one. I think this would look amazing on lighter skin tones. And then we have Bronze Over the Rainbow which is my absolute favorite. This one is just like a straight up yellowy gold which I think would look really good on tanner skin tones. And all of these are going to retail for $5.99. Now the loose pigments. The first one is Unicorn Wishes, which is my favorite. It is a beautiful blue with gold specks in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we got Pegasus Flutter. All of these are going to retail for $2.99. And this is just a really pretty lavender. And then Mystical Dreams, which is more of a darker purple. And it is just super like almost holographic. And now for the lipsticks, the first color is Immortal Tears. It is like more of the lighter purple holographic. And then we have Unicorn Soul, which is my favorite. It has more pink in it. And these are going to be $3.99. All of these are cruelty-free, fragrance-free, gluten-free, and also vegan. And then the Unicorn Brush is $4.99. All of these items are going to be available on Ulta.com on May 21st. And also on WetNWildBeauty.com on May 22nd. So my face is ready to go. I did do my brows beforehand. And I'm going to be using the Photo Focus Foundation in two colors. That is Golden Beige and Desert Beige. And I'm applying it straight with the spatula. I love the little spatula thingy, by the way. I love foundations that have it. I'm going to go ahead and use the round top foundation brush and blend this all in. And I like to first spread it out and then go in in circular motions. Using their ultimate brow kit, I'm going to be reshaping my brows just because doing my foundation and all of that shenanigans kind of messes up your brows sometimes. And I'm using the color Ash Brown. And I'm even using the little brush that came in the kit. Alright, now moving on to concealer. I'm going to be using the color Light Ivory. And this is their Photo Focus Concealer. And I'm adding a little bit of the color Medium Peach on top. Just to make it a little bit more um, toned for myself. And I'm also using Medium Peach. And now I'm also going to use the same foundation brush to tap in the concealer and blend it all in. And I feel like tapping motion is a lot better than um, like sweeping motions when doing concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and set that with their highlight and contour kit. And I'm just using the light shade in the contouring palette lightly all over my face. I'm going to be contouring a little bit with the same palette and I am using the shade Caramel Toffee and I'm going down the bridge of my nose just to give it a little bit of shadow and make it look more dimensional. Going back with the highlighting shade and going right underneath my eyes to brighten up my face even more. Now I will be using their eyeshadow primer and just applying that directly onto my lid and blending it in with my fingers. And now using a little blending brush from their collection and the All Natural 
eyeshadow palette, the Bare Necessities one. I'm going to be using that light brown in the palette and applying that in my crease and that is going to serve as my transition color. And now using the darker brown in the palette, I'm going to be applying that on the outer edge of my eye. Ooh, now we're going to be using the Unicorn Glow products. I'm going to be using Mystical Dreams and Pegasus Flutter on my lids. So I'm going to be applying Pegasus Flutter more on the inner corner of my eye. And then I will be using Mystical Dreams more towards the outer corner of my eye to give it kind of like of an ombre gradient look. And I am using their eyeshadow brush for this and I am using these pigments wet. I actually really love this combo of these two pigments. They look very nice together. And I'm also applying Mystical Dreams a little bit underneath my waterline. And sweeping any light fallout off with the highlighting shade and the unicorn brush actually. Bronze to get my face some more. Now I'm going to be using a light pink shimmery shadow in the Bare Necessities palette right underneath my brow bone and also in my inner corner. And now I'm going to be applying some mascara. I am using the Lash Renegade Mascara. Now I'm going to be using a natural pair of falsies and applying that right on top and these look so natural so if you want a natural pair of lashes you cannot go wrong with these. There we go I got them right on my line so that they look like my own lashes and not like falsies. Now I'm going to be applying some blush. I am using their Color Icon Blush and this one is in the color Pearlescent Pink. And I'm using the same brush that I was contouring with. Ooh, and the highlight. I'm telling you guys, I love this highlight. Bronze Over the Rainbow using their fan brush. Applying that on the topest parts of my cheekbones. Now I'm going to be lining my lips using the color Think Flamingos, which is like a really light, almost peachy pink. And using their Mega Cushion Soft Matte Lip Cream in a very bright pink color. This one is called Docile Hard. That's cute. Docile Hard. I love this color, like I would probably wear this color with almost nothing on my eyes. But I went ahead and mixed it in with the Think Flamingos lip liner. And this gives you like a really nude peach pink. But I wanted to just, I don't know, I was in the mood to make a cocktail on my lips. So I went ahead and also used their gel liner um, in the color Plum Together. And this is their gel lip liners. And I got like this very mauve pink color at the very end, which I was very happy with. All 
All right, now I'm gonna be setting my makeup using their Photo Focus make setting spray. All right, and that is the final look, you guys. I was so excited to create this look using only Wet n Wild products. I think this is perfect for a daily spring colorful makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more. Bye!